so I am on my way to the fashion district in LA um, this is my third time going there they have so many great pieces um, at wholesale prices and they have a ton of stuff so I'm excited to show you guys exactly what they have and um, bring you guys along the journey I am here we have made it um, so I just parked upstairs so there's like three levels of parking um, I usually just park up here, hop on the elevator, and head down. So there's so many, you know, things to eat around here. I always love to grab um, a bowl of fruit, so, you know, with some mango, some chile, some lime, um, and grab some tacos and um, some fresh juice. Here are all of the shops right over here. Another really cool place to check out. So this is on San Pedro Street. This is the San Pedro Wholesale Market. Another really dope place to check out. Um, they don't have things like at wholesale rates necessarily, but it is super cheap. Um, is the Santee Alley, which is about 10 minutes or so away from here. Um, at the Santee Alley, it's kind of like a flea market, how it's set up, um, but it's like really, really long. So you just walk straight through. They have, you know, makeup, they have, you know, wedding dresses, they got a little bit of everything. If you've ever been to a flea market, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so there's that if you're wanting to get like just like single items, um, but if you're looking to purchase you know like a pack of six so they'll usually do like two smalls two medium two larges um and you'll get that at obviously the wholesale rate you could do that here at the santee alley i mean not at the santee alley here at the um san pedro wholesale market but if you're just looking to purchase um individual um inexpensive pieces uh you can go to the santee alley which is not too far from here but yeah, I'm gonna walk down and grab some food first. And the biggest thing that you wanna do is make sure that when you're coming over here, you wanna be wearing comfortable shoes. So I'm just dressed super comfy. I'm wearing a, just like a Lululemon sweater and some, what is this, Navin um, sweatpants, baseball cap, and um, yeah. You're going to be doing a lot of walking around. Um, also, I would recommend coming down here and doing it in a two-day um, two thing instead of just coming down here for one time because there's so many different places to look at um, and it may be overwhelming in the beginning. But if you stay one day, just kind of, you know, mark down areas that you like and then maybe come back the following day and really spend that extra time. I believe it's from, um, I believe it closes at five o'clock. I don't know what time it opens up, but um, yeah, dress comfortably. So I just got done eating. I am in the fashion district still. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the amount of stores that are here. It's literally miles, I don't know how many miles it is, but look at all of this. These are just all the stores. And this just keeps going all the way down. Um, and there are so many food trucks. So when you come, you don't need to um, eat beforehand. Grab something to eat over here. They have really great um, taco trucks uh, with like seafood and um, you know obviously Mexican food but yeah I was just sitting here at the taco truck I was eating and then I was like oh my gosh like this is how you know you're in LA because um, Drea just like pulls up and all of a sudden I hear oh these birds are disrespectful so I turned to laugh and I was like oh you know she pulls up in her porch I was like excuse me um, so that was cool. It was like my little LA experience, you know, I was like, okay, it's not my first celeb. Um, so yeah, and there's these alleyways here. 
So if you are walking by, you will just see alleyways filled also with um, stores as well. Now if I should be, yeah. Ooh, cute stuff, cute stuff. But um, I was actually coming to pick some pieces up and come to find out that the pieces are not ready. They are still on pre-order, so those are not gonna be ready until uh, likely next week or so. So I'll have to come back. But this place looks cute. Unfortunately, a lot of the stores would not let me record in store, so I did have to turn the camera off. But here's a clip of me ice dyeing some pieces so I could take to the pop-up. It was really sunny, so it was just nice to be outside tie-dyeing as opposed to being inside. And here is a clip of me setting everything up at the pop-up. I literally drove everything from Berkeley to Los Angeles. Also, if you guys are staying in LA, I definitely recommend renting a convertible for the proper vibes. Oh,